Yes, it's been done a million times already, I know, but just bear with me. You always see people making Instant Pot spaghetti with the commercial jarred sauce. And I get it, it's super easy, dump and go, but I'm going to show you that it can be just as easy to make homemade sauce. It's going to be better for you, it's going to taste better, and it's going to be cheaper. This recipe is so good and so fast. It's another one of my go-to travel day dinners. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is brown the meat using the saute setting on your Instant Pot. To get the best flavor, make sure the meat gets brown and not gray. You want that brown stuff on the bottom. Now add a little bit of liquid. You can use water or wine and scrape up the brown bits. Next, we're gonna add spices. Use whatever you like, whatever Italian spices you like. I use one to two teaspoons each of oregano, basil, and then two tablespoons of tomato paste and a heaping teaspoon of chopped garlic. Then stir it up to kind of get the tomato paste incorporated and don't forget to add salt. You need at least one teaspoon because you're not boiling your pasta separately in salty water. I have forgotten salt a few times because I'm so used to making spaghetti the traditional way. In fact, I'm pretty sure I forgot it this time because I had no footage of adding salt and pepper. I also also like to add a teaspoon of crushed fennel seed. It kind of gives a little bit of that pizza sauce flavor. It's so good. Before you add the pasta, hit cancel on your Instant Pot so the meat won't burn. If you use half length pasta, you won't have to break the noodles to fit. Okay, let me pause here a second. If you've never made Instant Pot spaghetti, I know this seems weird, just trust the process. When you drop the noodles in, drop them in a crisscross pattern, that way they won't come out in one big clump. Okay, now here is where you're going to add the sauce. I want to give you a price breakdown here because I promised this recipe would be cheaper and healthier and taste better. It's $2.17 for this 24 ounce jar of ragu which has added sugar, almost two teaspoons per serving. When I did the math using this brand and not including spices because most people have spices, it came to a dollar and four cents per serving. When you go with the much healthier jarred sauce, which is comparable to my recipe, you might need an extra arm or leg to give at checkout. It comes in at a dollar sixty two per serving. For this recipe, you'll need a 28 ounce can of either whole peeled tomatoes that you crush up or a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I used organic this time just because that's all the Walmart had at that time. And I swear, I don't know how many Walmarts I've been across the country, but lately it seems like every single one is different. Anyway, now you pour the tomatoes over the noodles and add one and a half cans of water right over the top of the tomatoes. And if you forgot salt, you can go ahead and add it here. The total cost per serving for this Instant Pot spaghetti with homemade sauce is now put your lid on and turn the pressure valve to sealing and pressure cook on high for seven minutes. If you like your noodles a little more al dente, do five minutes, and if you like them softer, go eight minutes. But eight is the max because you don't want mush. Then once it's done, flip the valve to release all the pressure. I know it looks watery, but just trust the process. It's okay, I promise. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick that after you um, take it out, so I take the liner out of the Instant Pot so that it can cool faster, um, but once it's been sitting here for a little bit cooling, it just sucks up all that liquid. So it's not all watery and weird. I know it looks weird when you first take the lid off, but this is, it's perfect. So. On this travel day, I had some leftover hot dog buns, so we put some garlic butter on them and toasted them up in the air fryer and had a salad on the side. The total cost per serving for this Instant Pot spaghetti with homemade sauce is 95 cents, and you get eight servings. That's two dinners for my family of four. Here is another quick and easy recipe, great for travel day, or if you just don't feel like cooking. And if you enjoy baking in your RV oven, you're gonna love this no need beer bread recipe. It's delicious and super easy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.